Hey everyone, welcome back, and we're, uh, well, we're in Minecraft, if you, uh, weren't aware. So, this episode, um, we're gonna continue laying the foundation for the forge, that'll be built up here, probably right over here. So, that's going to be the main project for this episode. If you don't remember, last episode we had the um, arguably successful venture into the depths of the caves nearby. So let's go ahead and let's put all of our goodies away. Because we actually did a pretty good job and scored some resources this time around. So, hmm. and emeralds are probably going to go near diamonds right there. So we're going to let these two furnaces do their job, and then put the gold in there. So, I might end up adding more furnaces to this area so I can smelt stone at an increased rate. Because I do, I'm not sure if I actually have any smooth stone on hand right now. So, it does seem that that needs to be correct. There are also none up there, either. So, we're gonna go ahead and use the... I need to label these chests, I think. We're gonna use the furnace in here to start smelting stone. Because why not? We've got the space. I wonder how good of an idea it would be to start taking screenshots from the grain. Hmm. This actually isn't a bad viewpoint. Let's go get that bone over there. Cool. All right, we actually got a decent amount of sugar cane from that little uh, collection there. So, with that being said, we're gonna go put the sugar cane away and then go get some stone so we can continue working on the pathway. <sighs> There's actually a lot of sugar cane in here. There's really not a way to use it yet. One of my projects might actually end up being a um, Avatar The Last Airbender style library where there's a big spiral and then underground there's the huge library complex. But that's probably going to be like a project like way, 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 way later. So, just as kind of Heads up, that is, you know, of course, if Minecraft doesn't get replaced by Hytale, if Hytale turns out to be a fun game. And if you have not seen Hytale, I would recommend searching it up, because it has the potential of being the, lo and behold, Minecraft killer that has been fabled in the gaming community for quite a while. So, there have been a lot of games that have claimed to be 
the next Minecraft killer, but this might actually do it. Because it does look like what Minecraft 2 would be if there were ever going to be a Minecraft 2. So, it has my interest, for sure. And once it comes out, I'm going to try playing it on the channel and seeing how well it is received. So, let's go check on the iron smelting process and maybe put some gold in there. <sighs> There's a lot of empty space to be utilized. I might end up like putting decorations and stuff over here. You never know. I want a music box, but I need music discs. Ugh. Sigh. The struggles. And we're just going to go and grab. So now we just need a little bit more. Just one more. That's it. One more. There we go. And now we have the stone bricks for assembling our stairway. So now that we have these, while we wait for all that to smelt, we're going to begin terraforming the land to properly hold our future um, forge. So the forge will be elevated by two blocks and it will be placed in this general area over here. So we're just going to go and kind of level the playing field here. And there goes the shovel. Should probably make a new one. Let's go and block off the water there. And we're gonna go and make a shovel real quick. So. There we go. So nice. My shirt is kind of choking me. <sighs> That's my problem for wearing a blanket, though, because as the blanket slides down my back, it pulls my shirt down with it. And that is causing my uh, collar to uh, slowly wrap around my neck. <laughs> so this entire time, like, I've just been kind of feeling it slowly tighten around. And that's been quite the experience. So uh, nothing like slowly having your airway restricted as you're trying to play Minecraft while whispering into a mic. I'm like 90% sure my, my my dad thinks something's up because for quite a while like he's kind of like when the mic showed up in my room and we're like, well, Mike's name's like what's this I'm like oh it's voice recording stuff for voice work for a college course and stuff and he's like okay then like a week ago he walks in and like he's not supposed to be home for another like you know, like three hours. <laughs> I'm I'm doing video editing. <laughs> he's like, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, "Ah." <laughs> so he knows I edit videos, and he knows that I have voice recording stuff, 
and he's walked in and seen the YouTube dashboard open as I'm like trying to create like tags and stuff for the video. And I'm like 90% sure he thinks that I've gotten back into the YouTube game after a five year um, hiatus. So, because <laughs> back when I was 14, I actually used to do um, YouTube type stuff. And, um, my, my dad would always go through and read the comments. So <laughs> eventually I ended up stopping after, um, the people at my high school found out that I did YouTube and one of them tried using my YouTube channel to get me kicked out of the high school. So uh, that was great. He, um, I'll uh, use my YouTube channel uh, as a way to, um, like, like he, he like took my YouTube channel icon and then made fake account, like made fake comments on his YouTube channel. And then, cause he was mad cause I actually had like, you know, over a thousand subs with that one, which it was a Minecraft redstone thing and 14 year old me was super proud of it, but whatever. He only had like 11 subs. He was like super jealous and whatnot. And then, cause I was like super duper cool. And I had like a bunch of subs and it was super great. And like, you know, all that, but you know, sarcasm aside, uh, he created a, uh, um, counterfeit version of my channel and tried using it to make it seem like that I was cyber bullying him. And because I was at a charter high school, we had a, um, no tolerance policy where any misstep would actually get you um, removed from the school. So he tried using that to get me kicked out. And it was a little bit after that in my freshman year of high school that I just stopped uploading. And yeah, because I realized that it's just going to cause problems. But now that I'm out of high school and all that petty drama is behind me and that I don't need to worry about people like that, and I'm keeping this relatively quiet, and I'm not, like, doing silent brags to people. Um, it's pretty great, because a 14-year-old me would, like, show off my YouTube channel to my, like, friends and whatnot, like, hey, check this out, and then kind of got out that I had, you know, an actual YouTube channel that wasn't just, like recording um, Minecraft with a DSI, which was what the other kid did. Um, I had a version of DX Tori that um, I like pulled together a bunch of Christmas money for and bought it. Then I would grab an old Logitech webcam and then wear it around my shirt collar. And that's how I would have my mic is I would use the webcam as the microphone. And I got a really bad shot. Shirt is like I might be allergic to it, I swear. But that's how I would record my videos, and I would spend like I wouldn't do frequent uploads actually, I would actually do scattered uploads. And I was not doing daily like what I'm doing now, which is exhausting actually. Well, it's not like it's exhausting, it's more of just like um, I'm trying to think of the right word for it, but I definitely wouldn't say exhausting. It's kind of like um. I can't really think of a good word to explain it, but um, oh, hold on, I'm kind of like trying to like also clear this out while talk. It's um. It's not like, you know, exhausting or anything. It's just getting kind of like repetitive and mind numbing. And I'm actually kind of noticing that I'm not really taking these as seriously as I should be. So. Uh, but that also might be because I'm more focused on getting that Minecraft project out. ASAP. And that's really, um. 
that's really dragging my attention over there and not on maintain the quality of the videos that are actually out. Which, I mean, it's kind of this weird, like, got another itch. Great, this, this shirt is gonna like be the death of me, I swear. But um, it's it's kind of like a, a situation where it's like, do I keep doing the same thing over and over again? And um, you know, hope for the best, or do I like kind of push the envelope a little bit and you know focus my attention elsewhere and kind of take a couple of risk shots? And um, you know, you uh, you miss all the shots, or like you miss one hundred shots, shots you don't take. Um, quoted by uh, Michael Jordan, quoted by Michael Scott. So it's an office reference right there. So. That's what I've been watching while doing my uh, <laughs> uh, project is the office. So, you know, honestly, maybe I should just like flatten this area out and then kind of keep it going with the conformity. Now we're going to raise it up one level because I already placed the blocks down for that. What we are going to do, though, is we're going to clean up the spacing a little bit and give some room between the two buildings a little bit. So that way it's not super uh, bleh. So I don't expect this forge to be super bit, actually. It'll be, it'll be decent size, I think. So... We're going to extend the pathway pretty far. All right, and then we're just going to... We're going to need more stairs. Huh. Not quite what I wanted. Hmm. Oh, we need to place down uh, torch blocks. There we go. It is every... Oh, no, no, I need to extend it a little bit further. So it's gotta be like this. There we go. Now, would you look at that? We don't need to do stairs anymore because of the way we're doing this. So... Oh, that needs to be actually over. And we actually need to use our smooth stone there. Okay, but now we have a weird problem here where we don't have enough space to hold um, our next set. But we do have a pattern established here where we start with the torches right there. <sighs> and I think that we should actually... Hmm. We're gonna do a little bit of work here on the previously established stuff real fast. I'm gonna get I, I need glowstone is what I need. You know what? We're gonna go get some glowstone. So uh oh. That wasn't quite what I was expecting. So we're gonna take a little bit of a risk here and uh, go to the nether. <sighs> so let's go and store all of my resources away here temporarily. Um, I am gonna need cobblestone though because of the way that the nether dynamic sort of works. Um, I'm also gonna need flint and uh, steel. So. Let's go take care of that by getting a piece of flint real fast. And then we're gonna go to the nether. 
and get some glowstone. Some very, very, very much needed glowstone, I might add. So, because we don't have a good place to put the portal, we are going to probably actually put it where it should go. And... Do it this way. All right. This is taking a lot longer than I was expecting. There we go. All right. So we're going to put the portal down into here, so that way when the mobs start leaking out, we don't have to worry about um, dealing with all that stuff. So it'll actually look kind of clean when it's all said and done. So. And then make sure no light leaks, we're going to put a block right there. There we go, that's not super obvious actually, that's pretty good. Alright, now we're going to need to go and construct the portal. So, to do that, we're just going to do a simple cutout here. And... Now we're going to... Get some glowstone. Whoa. Oh, there's no animation with the shader. Huh. That's disappointing. Oh, there we go. It kind of screamed. Alright, here we go. To hell and back. Oh boy. Wow. Okay. So for starters, it is extremely laggy because it's loading all the fun stuff. So we're going to go and we're going to get off of this. Oh no. That's not good. Let's not play this game, Mr. Gas. Oh boy. This isn't very relaxing. There's two of them, huh? So... This is slightly problematic. Huh. May as well make the best of it, I guess. Here we go. This is probably where it starts, is right here. Crap. 
Where'd it go? <sighs> this is kind of terrifying, actually. Feels like I'm being hunted. Huh, okay. Well, that just happened. I didn't realize that was a challenge. But okay. I just thought that was the way you have to kill guests, besides a bow and arrow. So, cool, I guess. I should totally start a fight with zombie pigmen. I mean, what could possibly go wrong, right? make this fast. Yes. The sacred stone. I mean, I guess it is technically possible to get glowstone without going to the nether by using the witch trick. But... Alright, we're gonna build a platform here and do some harvesting. It's time for a harvest. Oh, please, not now. I can't tell if I'm, like, relaxed or, like, totally stressed out right now because I'm in the nether. Like, I'm, like, in this weird, like, in-between right now of being, like, super relaxed but, like, super on edge and super stressed out. So, these glowstone things are really bright is just what I wanted. Alright. Only a little bit left to harvest. Let's see. We got 16 plus 32. So we're going to end be ending up with a total of oh, we almost have a total of 32 glowstone in total. Nothing more relaxing than the sound of breaking glass. All right. You know, uh, this whole thing just really, like gave me a memory of my first uh, Minecraft world that I built in creative mode that I thought would have been so cool to have in creative or like in survival that it would have been impossible. And, like, by now I've easily topped that first, like, creative mode, um, that first kind of, like, creative mode, uh, you know, house that I built thinking it'd be, like, you know, so cool and so impossible and so amazing. Easily have that top now. Actually, I don't have enough cobble for that, so we're gonna... Get some of the easiest to obtain... Um, stone all in, uh, Minecraft. My favorite thing is the, uh, the, like, the Gatling mining you can do when you have, like, an efficiency, f like, whatever pick. And you can just, like, tear through nether rack like it's nothing. That's my favorite. Nothing compares to a, feel to a feeling of just, like, obliterating all that nether rack instantly. 
That's a pretty good feeling right there. That's like super satisfying. I gotta like get an enchanted diamond pick so I can do that. Okay, that platform should be big enough. And we have to extend it pretty far actually. So, and then we're going to have quite a bit of glowstone that we're going to head back and be good to go. Oh, I think this is definitely a good screenshot right there. All right. One more, and then we should be good for harvesting. Okay. The only problem with glowstone is that like it explodes when you break it, and the dust just goes everywhere. Oh. <sighs> I wish there was a fast way to break glowstone that didn't involve tearing my pick apart. Oh no, not now. Not when I'm on very unstable ground. If you don't understand what I mean, Netherrack is not immune to, uh, to ghast fire. But cobblestone is. I gotta be a little quicker here. Just in case. Alright. How much did I manage to pick up from that? A lot. A lot of glowstone. Like, a lot, a lot. Did I lose any? Seems good. Alright, let's go back. Time to go home. Oh, hey buddies, how's it going, Mr. Pickies? Okay, now the fun question is, is what kind of parkour do I have to do to get all the way back over there? Probably quite a bit, huh? All right. Not now, please. I know Taekwondo, don't you dare. What was I thinking? I'll tell you what, I definitely wasn't. I was more interested in just trying to There we go. Back home we go. Ooh, free XP. Yeah, the rack is like the best source of like XP. I think like you can get right next to Lapis. You know, that doesn't involve making an XP farm. <sighs> huh, there's a ghast over there now. That was close. Yeah, whatever, you can stay there. That's the whole reason why I built the water filter. Okay, wow, that is a much missed sight. All of that 
nice open sky. The sound of death is not in the air. Nice. Okay, now comes the fun part where we actually implement the glowstone. So we're gonna go and we're just gonna drop our glowstone onto all of these here. And right there as well. And I may as well just do it here too. <sighs> Actually, we're going to keep those end pieces there because I like the end piece look with the torches. All right. And there we go. A little bit of an improvement from the previous ones, but yeah, look at that. It's actually not bad. Mm, I might need to decrease the amount of glowstone that's actually used, though, now that it's um actually proper, but that's to be decided. I might just pull out the, those middle ones there and place them back with stairs and call. That might be a little just too much glowstone, to be honest. But, I mean, you know, it's better than the torches, I think. The torches were kind of obnoxious. So, but hey, this episode was pretty successful. We went to and back to the nether. So, <laughs> yeah. Pretty fun. Pretty fun, I might say. And next episode, we can actually start work on the forge. So, yeah. It's the last thing we have to do. We made it to the nether. That was one of the things I said. Built the woodcutter's farm. Now we can set the forge. Alright. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Special thank you to Alice PN, my current Tingle supporter, as well as those who have left tips. Thank you all for watching and tuning in, if you've made it this far. And have a fantastic